What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. So today we're going to be con continuing on in the Pi Mavlink Mavlink series. So what we're going to be doing today is going into how the Mavlink command system works and how we can send a Mavlink command to the vehicle. And today the Mavlink command that we're going to be sending is the arm command. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and come over to the Mavlink docs, and then we're going to come right on over to the microservices section in the Mavlink docs. And again, I will have the link to this in the description if you guys want to follow along. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the command protocol. And we're going to be using the command long um, message today. So let's go ahead and look at the block diagram that the Mavlink devs have set up for us. So basically, when you send a command, what happens is the GCS or your program sends the message command long to the drone. And when the drone receives that message, it tries to act upon the command. And then based off of if that succeeds or fails, it will pack that information into a command acknowledge and send that back to the GCS. And based off of that, um, the GCS or the program can tell if the command succeeded or failed. And then you can take action based off of that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the command long docs. So right here, command long is uh, defined by message 76. And in command long, you're going to find uh, a couple fields that you're going to need for every command, which is the target sy system that you're sending the command to it and the target component that you're sending the command to, as well as the enumeration of the command that you're sending, as well as um, zero for the confirmation. And then the next seven params are defined by the command type. So basically what we're gonna do is take a look at the list of commands. And then we're gonna go down to the mav command component arm and we're gonna go take a look at the parameters within that defined Mavlink command. So Mav command component arm disarm is message number 400. And based off of this definition, what you can see is that in param one, you're, it's going to take uh, a number of either zero or one, zero being disarm and one being one, and then two being the second param being uh, force, which for this, we're just going to set to zero and we're just going to use the one zero on param one. Now that we know what command we're sending, let's go ahead and start making our Python program to send this command. So let's go ahead and take one more look at command long, and then we're going to go ahead and open up our text editor. And we're going to take the first couple lines from the last program and we'll make a new program called arm.py. And we'll go ahead and paste those right on in there. So what we're gonna be doing is once we get the heartbeat from the vehicle, we're gonna be sending our command long uh, to that connection. So let's go ahead and write the connection uh, dot mav, and then we'll use dot command long underscore send. And in this, we're gonna fill it with the um, parameters, the connection dot target system. And like I said, this is the target system of the aircraft. And basically the connection dot target system is auto filled in when we receive our heartbeat from the vehicle. And same with the connection dot target component. And then um, if we go ahead and take a look at the long command format again, we have target system component, and now we're gonna be putting the uh, enumeration of the command that we're gonna be sending. So in PyMavlink, it actually has all of the enumerations uh, contained within the mavutil. So we're gonna just go ahead and type mavutil, and then we're gonna put dot mavlink, and then we're gonna put dot mav underscore command and underscore component. 
and then arm disarm and basically what that's going to do is it's going to access the enumeration which is 400 and fill it in to the meshes that we're going to be sending so the next one according to the command is the confirmation field which um, for the first transmission we just want to put zero and I've never really had to worry about this uh, field before or too much in the past so I always just put zero here and then uh, now we go into the command specific parameters so um, now when we look at the 400 command uh, we are going to we see that there's parameter one and two so for parameter one we're going to put one for arm and then zero for force so that's parameter one uh, set that to one and then parameter two set that to zero and then for the rest of them we're just going to fill them with zeros so parameter three zero parameter four uh, zero parameter five zero parameter six zero parameter seven zero um, and this should be the command that we need to send to the vehicle. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and test our program real quick. So let's go ahead and type Python three and then arm.py. Uh, it looks like I misspelled a uh, component. So that would be C-O-M-P and then O-N-T. Compo component. And now let's try this again. All right, perfect. Looks like um, it's sent. So let's check our ground control station and we'll notice that it now says armed. Um, so now to disarm, all we have to do is set that parameter one to zero. And boom, it looks like it disarmed. So once again, let's go back to the uh, Mav command protocol and we'll notice that for every command, there should be an, an acknowledgement command. So uh, let's go ahead and subscribe or try to listen for that acknowledgement so that our program can tell if the command succeeded or didn't succeed. Um, okay, so if we take a look back at our listen program, um, we can basically use the same kind of um, the same kind of logic here in our ARM program. So let's go ahead and just paste that right on in there. And instead of matching this to type attitude, we want to match this to the um, acknowledgement command, which would be this one: command acknowledge. And then we'll paste that right in here. So now let's go ahead and set this to arm again and we'll see what happens. So it looks like we got the command acknowledge and uh, it has all of these fields um, within it. So before we end this video, let's go ahead and take a look at what all the fields within the command acknowledge means. So command acknowledge message number 77 um, is filled with the fields, the command, which is the command ID, which is 400 because we are sending the arm command. Um, and then the result, which uh, is filled with the enumeration Mav result. And we can figure out what that means by clicking on the Mav result enumeration and then reading what all the different enumerations means. So it looks like we got the um, result zero uh, enumeration, which means uh, we got Mav result accepted, which means the command is valid and the command was ex executed. So if we got one of the other numbers, we could have we would have been able to decode what that meant by doing this traceback of uh, the message definition. All right, so that's gonna be all for this video. In the next video, we're going to be sending the takeoff command. And in the following videos, we're going to be continuing to get more and more complex with our Mavlike knowledge. So until then, uh, keep it cool.